Hi there, I'm Jamison Durr. I'm a producer, recording engineer, and mixing engineer here at Hyde Street Studios, which I've been at for the last 20 years. This is a very legendary recording studio where many Bay Area bands have recorded, like Creedence Clearwater Revival, Jefferson Airplane. Other legendary records that were done here were Joe Satriani's Surfing with the Alien. And all these amps behind me, I modeled for IK Multimedia's Tonex ecosystem. And I'm gonna go through each amp and tell you a little history about each one. So the first amp that I modeled is an amp that's near and dear to my heart, and it's the sound of rock and roll. Uh, it's the JCM 900. I was a big metalhead back in the day. So this is in the 80s. I was listening to a lot of Metallica and Bay Area thrash metal bands, and they all had Marshalls, and so I knew I needed to get a Marshall. So uh, I remember looking in the Guitar Player magazines, and this was the new amp that Marshall released. They said this one goes from zero to 20 and I like to have the extra gain so I got this amp. And I record this now with rock bands here and it still has that great Marshall tone. Next amp on the row of amps here behind me is the uh, Milkman. And that's a very nice clean amp. It kind of is like a Fender clean amp. It's got a lot of headroom. It does that really well. It's got two 12s in it. It has a really creamy tone on it. It has the spring reverb on it like a Fender, but is much uh, smoother sounding. The next amp on the list is the Sears Silvertone. And this is an amp that the Sears Robot Company came out with and it's uh, probably from the 60s but I have kind of an interesting story about how it came into my my amp locker. Uh, I was coming home late from a recording session and I was living in the Mission at the time and I'm walking home up the street and I, there was a bar on the corner from my house and I was passing the bar and I looked down and I was like huh somebody left a little guitar amp on the curb here. Oh that's interesting that's a cool amp and I kept walking but I looked at it and I thought if I don't grab this amp somebody else is going to come and grab it because the owner would not leave the amp out on the curb in the mission in front of a bar so took it home plugged it in i was like holy crap it works it sounds great this sears silvertone amp is pretty simple it's just got volume and tone on it got a pretty small speaker in there i'm sure it's like a maybe five inch speaker eight inch speaker it's pretty small kind of a little funky tone to it um, and then when i modeled that uh, I believe I just modeled just that speaker on it, but it does have the ability to uh, disconnect it and to put it into other speaker cabinets. Like you could plug that into the 412 Marshall cabinet behind me too and get a whole different kind of a bigger sound to it. You know, or maybe even plug it into the, the Milkman 2, 212. And so the next amp is the Buddha amp. It's a Super Drive 30. So it's a 30 watt amp, 112 cabinet. This is a great amp and gets really creamy tones. It gets kind of clean, it mostly stays pretty dirty. So the the, uh, the three amp models that I have on that, I believe are, are kind of dirty, dirtier, and really dirty. So you've got nice three uh, tones that you can get out of this amp. And it's probably one of my favorite amps here at the studio. So this is a fun one. This is not a pack of cigarettes. This is actually a guitar amplifier built inside of a cigarette box. And this is called a little smoky. Uh, this is a very cool little fun amp. And there's no controls on it. All you do is you just plug into it and that's what it sounds like. Uh, but I didn't mic this little speaker. I actually plugged this thing into the 412 Marshall cabinet. So guitar in here, out, speaker out into the cabinet. And this little nine volt battery driven amp drives this 412 Marshall cabinet and sounds pretty cool. Come on, boys! All right, we are here in Studio A inside Hyde Street Studios. This is the vintage Neve 8038 console that I use to model all the amps here in this room. This console was actually installed with the help of Rupert Neve himself. This is a wonderful sounding console. This is the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier Amp. This one has tons of gain as well, good for metal and rock stuff. Check it out on Tonix. Mini Monster coming up. All right, our next amp up is another Marshall, and this one's a cute little Marshall. It's like a little purple one, and it's got two 12s in it. Very cool cabinet. This one's a little uh, creamier sounding, a little bit more smoother, more vintage sounding. This one was a fun one to get some sounds out of. Sure you're going to enjoy playing through this on Tony's. Our next amp is the Airliner. 
This is a funky one. I've never heard of this amp before I came to Hyde Street. This one's got a really cool tone and it's got simple controls, volume and tone. What is it with the amps from the 60s? They were just trying to keep it simple. This would give you a really unique tone in the Hyde Street Studios Tonex amp package. Next up is the classic Fender Twin Reaver. This is a must have of all guitar amps. You gotta have your Marshalls and you gotta have your Fender Twins. This is the classic Silver Face one, so I believe this is the one from the early 70s. Um, it's got really simple controls on it, volume, treble, mid and bass, uh, and then it's got um, reverb on the second channel, so you can turn it up to your heart's content. Um, I believe I just got one sound on this because that's all you need is a beautiful, clean, clear Fender Twin sound. Our next little Fender is the Champ, the Little Champ. This is another really simple amp. It's just got treble and bass and volume, and I turned it up to get a little grit on it. That's when it sounds best. This is a uh, nice little all-tube amp, and it also in the back has a tone tubby speaker. All right, we have another Fender in the batch here. This is a beauty. This is the Fender Vibrolux Reverb. I modeled the uh, first channel on this one and got a little grit on it. I like to turn these amps and get them a little bit gritty. Really simple, just uh, treble and bass on this and volume. Just turn it up and rock. So I'm excited for you all to hear these amps in the new Tonex ecosystem from Hyde Street Studios here in San Francisco.